new technology, new waters. The Trillion Object Opportunity is here, and these corporate giants, Amazon, Microsoft, Spotify, are all jumping in. They announced a focus on Web3 wallets. Smart Media Technologies is the world's most trusted enterprise Web3 company, and our team works with the biggest brands on the planet to bring you the biggest value to your wallet. This is the trillion object opportunity. There are a billion websites. There will be a trillion objects. Those digital objects are NFTs. That's what's going to make up our future. Welcome to Outer Edge LA. This morning we've listened to a lot of Web3 thought leaders talking about how they see Web3 evolving and what's taking place in this space. Because we've come a long way from the first NFTs that hit the scene a few years ago to people really focused on the utility and the value they're going to get out of this new technology. You created the first technology platform. Do you realize how big a deal that is? I met up with leading tech disruptors who are really making a splash. Yeah, the co-founder of Animoca Brands, a $6 billion company that is a leading gaming studio and a VC in the Web3 space. For me, one of the best things about Web3 is it enables brands to create communities for their fans. And you must feel the same way with all of the games that you guys put out. Do you see it really having a big impact in the communities aspect of those games? It's a huge aspect. One of the things about Web3 being the web of ownership is that actually the community feels that it doesn't just have an intangible relationship of ownership, it actually has a tangible way in which it owns a piece of whatever it is that you're building. I've been pitching brands NFTs for the past eight years, and I was thrilled to see the Rams be the first NFL team to embrace NFTs by minting its 2022 Super Bowl ring. So lovely to see you here. It's been so many years where we got to start out and be basically the beginning of the internet and to see how far it's coming. After we won the Super Bowl, we announced a partnership name made NFTs that allowed for not only players to have this ring, but for the NFTs as this collectible to get with fans everywhere. A Web3 can help not only engage with fans, but to bring players and our assets and our IP closer to communities, and not only within the US, but also globally. Seeing William Shatner celebrate his 92nd birthday at a Web3 conference shows that we are boldly going where no man has gone before. What you have given me is the most profound experience it was so moving. His father just turned 90. Uh -huh. Tell him what happened. And his dream was always to go to space. So yeah. thank you for making that a reality. Oh my God, really thank you. And the idea that I can FaceTime or WhatsApp seems light years ahead of my grandparents' generation. So when you think about those basic premises that seem so innovative to generations before us, the idea of a hologram or AI or jumping in through a Web3 tool in different ways to connect is not so far off. At the end of the day, it's about incentive. What's gonna motivate people to show up just like anything else in the world? They're not being paid or they're not getting freedom. It's about the intersection of Web3 with real entertainment properties and projects that inspire fans globally, create more unique forms of interactive media that support greater fan adoption. All this energy highlights that brands have a choice to make. Will they be a leader or a follower in Web3? Let's back it up a moment. What about this internet thing? It is the big new thing. In the 90s, brands needed to be convinced to create a website. In the 2000s, brands needed to be convinced to create an app. Now in the 2020s, brands are realizing that the next big shift is to NFTs. The very first use case for Web3 is brands connecting with their consumers. And it's going to reinvent and truly change the way brands advertise to those consumers. Sean Neff, known as the Branding Whisperer, is one of the leaders in the NFT movement. He is partners with some of the most famous stars in the world. Our goal is to kind of blur the lines between digital and physical art. What we're doing is taking existing artists that already have built amazing careers, that are in museums, that work with the biggest galleries. We're bringing them into this space through our platform, Goda. It's wonderful that Pharrell is on board. It's really cool to see him be announced as the head designer for Louis Vuitton. We've got a rad team of important people that we feel that 10, 20, 30 years from now, there's going to be valuable digital collectibles. It's amazing they've brought that group of people together because they are on the forefront of culture and style and they are icons in their own right, enabling them to create digital art and provide that to the masses through this new medium. There's a lot of legs there. NBC Universal has theme parks, we have NBC, we have sports, and we have Sunday Night Football, we have Premier League. Obviously, Peacock streaming is the new way to you know bring that to the masses. We have 
some of the biggest brands in the world. How can we connect and create loyalty? And I love what Starbucks and Journeys are with Form 3, creating experiences to where they like feel ownership in the brand. There's so many ways to do it, and we're just getting started. As an artist, how do you feel about the community being built around NFTs? Well, I, I think it's a natural evolution of technology meets art. And as an artist, I need to embrace it. You know, there's starting to be an overlap between actual fine artists and the NFT world. Basically, I went to Ukraine. I painted murals in the ruins of Ukraine to give hope. And we're making NFTs out of those murals to help fund local humanitarian projects. How does Ape Water play into the whole Web3 concept? We want to offer a direct-to-consumer experience with power through Web3. So we're the first beverage brand that's allowing people to buy water direct-to-consumer with crypto. You're aping into sustainability, you're aping into Web3, you're aping into quenching your metathirst. For us, aping is an adjective. It's an adjective of positivity. You want to be an evolved ape, not a de-evolved human. There are over a billion websites, millions of apps, and now the trillion object opportunities upon us with NFTs. Web3 is really important because you can't stop progress. It's the evolution of all that's come before it. Web3 will deliver on the promise of blockchain technology, which is eliminate the middleman, and allow that money to go right into the consumer's pocket, give us a better way to experience the internet, a better way to capture value, and a better way to live in this world. What does this all mean? Well, very soon, no one will say Web3. It will be just the way the internet works. And my company, Smart Media Technologies, is powering that future. This is Reeve Collins. Stay bullish on Web3.